Hey guys, so today we're going to continue on with that guy thread because we really enjoyed it the other day. So why not? It's a big enough thread to do. But while you're here, we're nearly there. We're on our last legs. We're on 99 thousand please subscribe so if today's please. the day you're going to subscribe please subscribe Make let's see if we day. can let's <laughs> this day <laughs> let <this> day. <laughs> no i'm not going to start the little hand speak no. like but it, let, let's make us hit 100k today or tomorrow the next, the next couple of days let's try and do it but don't forget check all the links down below and subscribe please <laughs> please anyway let's get into this New Campus D&D Club. Huge turnout. 12 players, 3 GMs. Can I play a cat girl? Ask some greasy skinny fuck. No. No. No, you can't. <laughs> skinny fuck continues to argue about it for an hour to play his fetish bait. 14 collective hours of humanity wasted. Oh, that's Ugh. horrible. Be honest. I'll, look, I'm sorry to say, but see when people turn around and say, can I play a cat girl? It's like, I, yeah. you just know that is fetish Somebody bait. replied saying... They quoted, can I play a cat, cat girl? Ask some greasy skinny fuck. I can guarantee that this guy is now a femboy <laughs> on E with at least two orbiters <laughs> because he posts pictures of his socks on discords and unironically identifies as alt-right. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, that's quality. That's quality. We're in some derelict tar in Bad Juju Forest. We <laughs> We need rest. So we barricade the hatch that led us here and set up a watch schedule. During that guy's watch, a massive insect or spider thing starts reaching in through the window. We hadn't barricaded because we were fairly high up. That guy's elf starts waking everyone up, except the other elf. Said elf is in a trance or whatever, and because it's slightly disorientating to be woken up from that, which might be a bit of fluff or grip me up, that guy has internalised the idea that this is some ultimate taboo. Cue the rest of us going, Are you fucking insane? The wizard starts shaking the lotus positioned elf to wake him up. That guy knocks an arrow, and with the spider thing still crawling around the room, threatens to shoot the wizard to death. Fairly tame, but frustrating at the time. Immortalised with the grip as the running joke. Stop being a minor inconvenience or I will fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, yeah. joke. Yeah, that isn't like much of that guy. That's more of a just like, okay, time to calm down on the lore, <laughs> would you? Yeah. For five fucking minutes. Yeah. Took his level one character in the church that we'd been warned would be a challenge to our grip of level fours. Encouraged his friends to also bring his level one. Caused a total party kill. But due to a lucky crit on a death saving throw, my fighter was able to stand back up and drag the other characters out the door. That guy said I was taking the game too seriously when I got mouthy with him post-session. <sighs> that's just... Honestly, I wouldn't say that's that guy. That's more just a boy's just stupid. Yeah. Like, you told... Like, it's going to be hard for the whole forge, so... For level one... So it's it's going to be fucking hard, it's, so, it's, like, it's just, let's go. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. I would say that's more just stupidity than anything else. Yeah. Hey guys, so sorry to interrupt the video, but I just want to tell you to go ahead and check us out on Spotify. You can find all of our new videos normally a day early on Spotify, and it's a great way to help us out. It just makes sense at this point expanding outside of YouTube since it's a bit of a slowly sinking ship. Yeah, it yeah. is. Also, you should check us out on Discord, Instagram, Twitter, and join the Facebook group, link below. It really helps us out a lot being able to expand outside of YouTube. So go ahead and join us on whatever social media platform you use. However, let's get back into the video. That GM takes our characters to a coast with aphrodisiac flowers and bloom. They cause women to become incredibly horny. <laughs> oh god. My character walks in on the wolf girl NPC, naked, with a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to kill monsters, man. This shit was a constant with him. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Honestly, like, see, you should have known the second the DM said, you know what, we're going to play a wolf girl. girl. <laughs> yeah, that's when you knew it wasn't going to be good. I love that picture with it. I love that meme. If only you knew. No, you're bad things you really are. <laughs> <laughs> I already know the kind of replies I'll be getting, but whatever. Be me. Circa 2015. 
40k 7th edition was in full meltdown mode. Yes, it was. I remember that. That was when the, the Necron Codex had just came out with formations, and don't get me started on this. This is <laughs> fucking bullshit. Yes, okay. not get started on I, I don't want to talk about it. Age of Sigmar had just been released and was the trash fire everyone had been making fun of. I don't give a fuck. I have my Nurgle bros. I love them and just wanted a game to use them in. Decided to branch out to Zeech with the Silver Tar game. One evening, game night at local game store. Owner isn't allowed to sell us stuff past a certain hour, so everyone's getting their shopping in after the doors close, but before he has to stop selling. Stand in line with a box of pink horrors. Fucker in his mid-thirties starts talking to me, explaining to me like I'm a noob and not someone with 10 years of tabletop experience why those horrors are good. Tells me they can split now and how good that is in 40k. Tell him I'll be using them for Age of Sigmar. Fucker dead ass turns round in the middle of my sentence and starts talking to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> like I remember, like Age of Sigmar was <laughs> absolutely getting, it was absolutely getting dabbed on though at the time. <laughs> you need to remember the absolute outrage that people had. It's died down an awful lot now, but at that time people did not like Age of Sigmar one bit. They really, like there was do you guys do you guys remember that video of the guy that set his army on fire? There was an actual video of some guy setting like thousands of pounds worth of models, models? On, on fire, yeah. What I'll see if I can fuck? dig it out now. I, I'll, I'll throw it up on screen for you guys if you guys can't remember, but Age of Sigmar was a dumpster fire at the start. So basically, the fucking 40k ones are the same as makeup ones. Yeah, yeah, there is. It's the exact same thing that's going on with makeup at the minute. Yeah, they're taking all the fucking <laughs> the eyeshadow palettes and burning them. It's like, yes. I don't like this in the same 40k. I don't like yes. this. I'll burn them again. <laughs> yeah, it is actually the exact same thing. <laughs> oh, I never thought about it like that. 15 minutes later, hear him talking to another guy he assumed to be a noob. Recommends 1D 4chan tactics article to him. I like them tactic articles, okay? Don't judge me. Hour later, right side table was us, Age of Sigmar lads. Left side table was 40k lads. Fucker was one of them. Keeps making digs at our game. Just loud enough that we can hear it. Meanwhile, his group keeps arguing about scenarios and shit. Half an hour into the actual gaming, the Age of Sigmar table has ended its first game and is starting the next. During the same time, Fucker has finally agreed to the scenario the other two guys have picked. Oh god, it's not one of Ugh. those types. We play another game. They're halfway through the first turn. We start another game. Their flyers finally arrive. Look over. Fucker is playing the ultimate netless bullshit Eldar soup. Half painted, obviously. Obviously, oh yeah, you have that. It has to be half painted. <laughs> like, you know, you can't, you can't play them and not have them half painted. Like, you know, that'd be a waste of time. Age of Sigmar table ignores them, but the rubbernecks keep noticing how we're playing chill games. Well, they can barely get through one phase without arguments. Store owner informs me a few months later that the Age of Sigmar community at his store has tripled. Fucker was so repugnant, he made our game more popular. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty good, to be honest with you. No, where we are, um, Age of Sigmar has actually became a lot more popular, so I would yeah. say it's more popular than 40k at the yeah. moment. However, Age of Sigmar is just not really my thing. You know, I've, I'm not really into tabletop war games as much as what I used to be. I'm more into, like, D&D and stuff, to be yeah. these days. But it's not Because I find D&D more relaxed than 40k. It is more though. relaxed, and you can get... A, I, think that it's, I think it's more fun. And you always and get those weirdos in 40k as well. Yeah, 40k... There was too much of a competition. Like, don't get me wrong, it's nice winning and all that. But see when you're showing up. I'm not saying people... that. I know people we know who play 40k. I know. Who watch these videos. I know I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about you guys. I'm not talking about you guys. Not talking about you guys. Please don't hurt us. <laughs> Let's continue. Let's continue before we get ourselves into a revolver. DM is being soft in the grip in battle and letting one player push him around. PM him that he should be more assertive and challenge the grip. Next meet, he gives us an impossible fight. Kills three PCs with no fanfare or final words or anything. Packs up in a hurry, pretending to be nonchalant. <laughs> and with barely a sentence about sending him our new PCs, run home to avoid confrontation. <laughs> we just stay there kind of stunned and angry. We've been playing these characters for a year. He handled that terribly. I would have forgiven him had he apologised or even asked us to talk about it or give our characters some nice farewell, but he carried on like nothing happened. Got real fed up with the fucker. As soon as the group around me started meeting in person again, I'm out of there. 
Yeah, to be honest with you, that's a really terrible way to handle it. Especially if you play a character for so long. But no, yeah, but the okay. guy like, Yeah, but the guy the guy's right, like telling the DM, look, be a wee bit more yeah. assertive and give us more of a challenge. Yeah, definitely. I, but But not fucking go balls to the walls <laughs> well, and just fucking yeah. try and kill them all. Although it, you don't know you don't know if the situation was could they have just gone away? Uh, you know. Sometimes it's better, just gone away, to be honest with you. Not everything's a fight to the death. Yeah. Just just fucking leg him. Long leg fuck. <laughs> Be me, playing Witch Hunter, 1700 occult hunting game. Create merchant character to subtly annoy the far left ham planet at the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, we can't talk about such things on YouTube, but let's continue. <laughs> Make him the local merchant in joke <laughs> from a dark heresy campaign where my assassin kept stealing the tolls from everywhere he went. Campaign gets rolling. Everyone makes standard misconceptions of the 1700s and earlier. I correct them in those. Fuck me, he's that guy. Yeah, he probably is, but like, you know. Like, actually, in the actually. 1700s, this happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually. Oh, sure. <laughs> you know exactly about that. Investigation starts. All clues point to a werewolf. But me not paying attention think it's a vampire. Go to a local market. Ask to buy a bag of seed. Time passes, we catch the werewolf in the act of tearing up another victim. Paying so little attention that I didn't even know it was a werewolf. Werewolf turns to us. I take out my bag of seed and throw them at the ground, hoping he would stop to count them like vampires do. Wait, what? Wait, what? I don't know if that's a thing, but... It must be a thing in this game. Uh, vampires know. stop and count seed. Do they, have, do they have extreme OCD? Or something, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Let us know in the comments down below. This is a new, new one to me, anyway. Everyone looks at me like I've taken a shit on the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that look. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Trying to argue my rationalisation for doing that. Get told it's a werewolf, not a vampire, you fucking retard. Try to suicide charge the werewolf, hoping to die in the process. DM fudges roll to prevent me from dying. We do not play witch hunter ever again. Realise I was that guy. Yeah, yes, you were. Yes, you were. At least he realises a mistake. Yeah. So, so it's alright. It's okay. Self-aware. I know, exactly. That's. I think that's what the key that makes it that guy. Whenever you actually realise after, it's like, oh, no, actually, yeah. I, I was actually the one being a dickhead. Yeah. Oh, okay, then. Guy makes edgy assassin rogue. Plays every single trope related to it like a T, unironically. Either brooding <laughs> in a dark corner, making some edgy comment... Trying to steal from us or nothing personal. <laughs> 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 Becomes genuinely angry that our characters don't like his, despite his dark and depressing backstory. Uh, well, I honestly think, see, people that get on like that have watched too much anime. Yeah. They've just watched too much anime. <laughs> yes. And it's time to stop, okay? Figure out the solution to a trap or puzzle is to show humility. I test it out by doing so, passing by trapped areas unscathed. Rest of party does so. Everyone gets through fine. My character is too arrogant to show humility. I walk through tall and proud. That guy. Gets fucked by like ten different magic traps. <laughs> Three quarters dead and four or five different disabling effects on him. Okay, and on. Heal him up so we can go to the next room. Fuck that. He can wait here for an hour and heal himself up. And see what status effects expire. While the rest of us progress onward. Honestly, you know, it's one of those ones. See, if you don't have a load, just use a barbarian. <laughs> just walk into them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just, we'll just walk into the traps. If you don't have a load, you know, just, yeah. you know, it's a good way of getting rid of them. Dude, don't be that guy. Just use a bunch of your spell slots and heal and dispel him so we can keep going. Peer pressured into burning all my slots healing the guy. Get to plink away with cantrips for most of the rest of the dungeon because that guy wanted to see what the traps would do to his hit point total. Uh, for God's sake, like, you know... That, he that, wants to do that, but he's got... I bet he has, like, zero healing potions yeah, on him. like, it's one of those okay. ones... I think people, whenever when it comes to tabletop games, they don't understand it's not a video game and you can't just <laughs> all your fucking... What? This, it says, my party thinks I'm that guy because I didn't want to heal that guy who puts his dick into a trap because that's what my character would do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
okay, well, if he says that's what his character would do, fuck him. You know what I mean? But no, I do definitely think people think of healing in video game logic. Yeah. And like, you know, see, whenever it leaves, you would just camp clips for the rest of the session. It's like, fuck that. You know what I mean? Play male to female gender bent characters in the last three campaigns I've played with him. Steal dice. No, oh, you fuck do up. not steal dice. I, I, I'm a, I'm a bit of a dice fiend, right? <laughs> yeah, I, you are. I, 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 I don't I, know how many packs of dice there are in this look, house. I just really like nice, nice dice. So yeah. don't fucking touch nice. my dice. I like my nice dice, right? Like, go fuck yourself. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're not touching my fucking dice. <laughs> Change characters and campaigns often after I have written their first character into the plot heavily. Spend the whole character creation session creating a character. Then after everyone else is done change their mind and spending several hours creating something else and then sometimes going back to their first idea or playing something else and a multitude of other things I can't remember well enough to tell coherently. He has since been banned from the game table and no one has spoken to him in a long time. Yeah, to be honest with you, you'd be getting the fuck out if you fuck with my dice. Mm-hmm. Simple as. Not reading Wait, my last line. No, 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 no that, that'll do us for the day, right? That'll do us. And, 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 cut the black, cut the black. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And while you're here, don't forget we also are now on Spotify. Check us out on Spotify. Fucking Spotify. Check it out. So all you boys who have been saying in the comments for ages about having just audio only, there, we'll go. We'll have it. Check the links. Get some. Listen to us while you're... I don't know. I don't want to know what you're doing. But listen to us. I'm not washing dishes or something like that. That's why I listen to podcasts. I know. So uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe please subscribe oh, please subscribe we need it we just need it i will suck your dick if you get us to if, the you're if you're over 18 over <laughs> 18 i will you know, just help us you out get it, please you know, just help us out you know i mean hundred thousand. it's a really cool number to yeah. have it's quite an achievement i would yeah. say so like, definitely go ahead but i hope you've enjoyed the video yeah i think it's pretty good and um, also if you have your own that guy stories oh yeah put them down uh, below put them down below definitely i uh, would love to hear them because look we enjoyed the cringe yeah we just we just really enjoyed the cringe but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>